Roland stresses me so much that I that it causes me to actually kiss my wife and clean the kitchen. <laughs> That's good. Stamina. 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 How, how do you pronounce it? Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf's Side channel. Today with a very special topic. The Tower Dog Armor Stream Summary. So first we will look at what Henrik showed us and then I will go through the random questions and answers list. First siege was a successful event. Yeah, yeah. Was it the one between Odin Seed and uh, who was it they attacked? Was it Kodo? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember exactly who the targets was. I saw some of the videos. I haven't watched it all. I, I intend to do that. But look at this little baby. What do you think about this one? Jungle is massive, indeed. So this is our latest um, armor type for uh, the Tower Dog. Tower Dog, indeed. <clears throat> Where the cup? Calm down, calm down. We haven't added them to the game because of some balance factors that I comment commented on before. So before we add some of these heavy armors for those mostly used and powerful pets, there are some balance factors when it comes to speed, right? You know, their agility goes down along with uh, increased defense values. So that's the necessary balance that comes along with them. Yeah, I think the design of that armor is really cool. So yeah, this will be the same type of uh, style converted to the horses as well, instead of the heavy armor types we have currently in game. Remove control walker spell, please. Yeah, um, we talked about that one before. Uh, when we are done with elementalism, we're going to do a little session around uh, old schools to refine them a little bit. And that is one of the plans, right? That when you summon a, a, a walker, you also have the control uh, by default. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously a little bit strange that AI have unlimited stamina. And there's a few ways of us to combat that, which is planned for when it comes to balance. We want to be careful when it comes to server data calculations. Uh, obviously, we want to make sure that the player's data calculation is number one. And secondary is the AI function or stuff like that uh, to not compete with such calculations. So we're always careful when it comes to how we can add a function without obviously stealing player performance, if that makes sense. I like the way you pronounce stamina. <laughs> stamina or stamina. How do you say it? Stamina or stamina? <laughs> I guess it's stamina, right? And I wanted to say during downtime past few days, got to give you props for how you handle it. Thank you, Lord, Lord, Lord Lob. I mean, it's very painful, right? For all of us in the team when that happens. And we really do everything we can in our power to obviously minimize that and have a negative impact for you, the players. And we take it very seriously. And I can't really sleep when that is something that happens. So I may as well sit there on the phone and do whatever I can to get the various people on position to give us a quick solution rather than a slow one. But yeah, sometimes it's, it's difficult having large companies that doesn't really care as much as you as a small company having their services. So it's something we are also adapting to learn the hard way and want to make sure that we secure our steps so we can't be as affected negatively by other parties. I mean, they, you know, we, we can work day and night, but uh, sometimes we can't expect that from other parties, depending on what it is and who. But we appreciate your understanding and support in that matter as well. And, uh, you know, we want to have all that in a very good position before, obviously, we also can enable any subscription down the li line uh, along with Epic release. And now to the random questions and answers list. Login servers are fixed. Uh, there were some problems. Also, the stability of server nodes is better now. Outcasts will come to all starting cities it's for new players and noob players or solo players because some outlaws are too hard to fight for new players. Now a new PvE mob. Bounty hunting will be improved with the epic gay game patch and additional rewards will be implemented. Unreal Engine 5 is painful and Henrik said because of that they had to recode a little bit and it will need some time. With 100% defense on your territory structures you can't be sieged until the defense is going down so that means that the attacker needs to destroy your buildings first that gives you defense in order to actually siege you. And Henrik said whatever they will come up in the votes and you people vote, all the community votes, this will be picked first no matter what. This will be after the epic ga ga game patch. More TC buildings and services will come over time with the second and the third TC update. With daggers uh, there's something wrong Henrik said in the design of heavy daggers. They shouldn't have a high crit chance. This will change in the future but they are very careful in balancing thus 
such stuff and only if they have the time later on. For the elementalists, uh, the elements are a familiar entity that have a uh, specified stuff that you can benefit from. He didn't specify that, strangely. Only that a uh, fire elementalist uh, entity is fire bound and, and stuff like that. I, I don't know what this means. Heavy weapons versus small weapons will change a little bit in the future. That heavy weapons will have more damage when someone is trying to block that with a very very small weapon. For example, a big fucking hammer versus a dagger. He didn't specify that, but maybe something like hitting through the block. PvE encounter will have a missing chance with arrows and projectiles in the future. Wagons will come to the game someday and this is also the same system that will work for ships. So ships will also come then afterwards or vice versa. Thursas will be tweaked a little bit, they will get a little buff. Again, didn't specify what. Biomes and stuff will be improved visually a little bit because the artist is now a little bit more skilled. At least I hope so. <laughs> Tindrim Suas! <laughs> <coughs> Tindrim, <laughs> Tindrim. Whoever designed Tindrim, yeah, th thanks for that, but please make it make it uh, good. Thanks. No offense here, but it looks not good, really. And the main plaza is uh, meant to be a plaza and not something like a fucking a fucking well on on the top of of stairs and and whatever the shit this is. I mean, uh, uh, stick to the model on a one layout. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Unreal Engine 5 transition is worked on. More handle types and more gear will come in general over time. Farms and breeding grounds will come with the next territory control patch. Depends on what the community votes for. Theory can be voted on the next roadmap. Veteran system will come and it gives you a never ending progress. It will give you more skill points. Sadly, no more details on that. A lot of quality of life stuff will come and uh, this also includes the broker UI. Yeah, please fix the broker UI. Everyone is using the broker and fix the UI and the filter of chance. I'm pretty sorry, but I'm getting so fucking mad that this little improvement is not done since two years. Ships will come someday. I have to say it with a Henrik meme. What the fuck are you doing, Henrik? <laughs> Reaction timer for outlaws will be changed uh, that you actually have the chance to run away. An option, for example, that you can use your webcam to capture your emotions on your face and reproduce them onto your character in game will come. Crouching will also come, maybe with the theory update. Maybe a card game where you can, for example, gather some really rare cards in some dungeons and stuff like that, that you can fight against other people with your monster cards, for example, or stuff like that. He didn't say it, but I guess he meant Gwent from the Witcher series, kind of like that. Marketing will come with the epic game release. Network will be improved. The barber and tattoo profession will come. The night wishing clade gift and the lighting in general will be better with the the Unreal Engine 5 patch and changing your clade and your race will also come to the game. And someone asked how much work these stream summaries are in general. Here a short demonstration. And uh... so here now I'm cutting the a eh out of the sentence. So I'm taking this out and I'm taking the a eh out of the sentence and also the, the pauses between Way them. And I want to make sure that we secure our steps. Makes them more compact. We can't be as effective. So uh, thank you for watching. And please, if you like and subscribe, subscribe <laughs> please leave a like and subscribe would be really awesome and ring 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 the bell <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Uh, a special thanks to all the supporters of course Carmel, professor lucario ronos part of colombo creator you and all what is wrong today what i don't know giovanni vargas and um, I, I don't know <laughs> just make party hard it's so hot here i can't even concentrate and uh, so make party hard and uh, see you all next time <laughs> goodbye the lighting in general would be <laughs> will be better with the Unreal Engine 5 patch.